Hello everyone. Welcome to the .NET office. In this video, we will discuss about like why Node.js is required in Angular application. Like we have seen when we are going to create or when we are doing a setup for the Angular, then we install the Node.js. So in this video, we will see like what is the requirement for Node.js in Angular. So before that, let's understand like what we are going to cover. So in this video, we will cover like what is the Node.js and what is the advantage when we use the Node.js application and then we will see why Node.js is required in Angular. So let's see what is the Node.js. So Node.js is basically a um, free license version. We can download it and we can use it in our application. So Node.js is a open source server environment and it's a cross platform and javascript runtime environment that execute javascript co code outside of a web browser so basically this node.js as we know it's a runtime environment and it is written into the javascript so it help applications to run on the browser because browser understand the javascript and node.js is a combination of the runtime environment and the javascript as we know and it's a free version of the Node.js. Even most of the companies, they modify the Node.js uh, like uh, according to their requirement and they create their application in, into the Node.js and it help them to make a single page application. So Node.js help uh, to create the single page application as well. And the Node.js give us the facility like we can run this Node.js anywhere on any platform like windows linux unix mac or etc and node.js is written in the javascript so node.js uses javascript on the server so that we have seen so that is about the node.js now let's see like um, if we are using the node.js then what advantage it give us when we create any application using the node.js so we can create a single page application and if we want to create a dynamic page content like at the runtime we want to change the content then we can go with the node.js and like suppose if we are going to create any application and we want to communicate the data using the api then node.js help us to make it very easy and suppose on the file level we want to do any card operation or we want to close the file on the server then node.js help us in that as well Node.js help us to collect the form data uh, on the browser side or we can say the server side and Node.js help us to do the card operation with the database using the API that we see in the Angular like when in Angular when we are going to do any card operation then through API it is very easy to do all those kind of the card operation and we can create a dirt application in the sense like real time like data uh, intensive the real time application with the Node.js. So these are the some significant advantage when we create an application using the Node.js. Now, like we will see why Node.js is required in the Angular application. So we have seen like the advantage of using the Node.js into the application. Like it give us like in the previous video we have seen it give us these significant uh, like content or the like advantage to uh, like create an application into the browser side like it help us to create a such kind of the things as a single page application dynamic application or com communicate uh, the data uh, using the api so it give us that's why that is the main agenda basically we use it into the angular so like if, what if we don't use the node.js in angular so if we are not install the node.js without that also we can create our angular application like it's not necessary like we need node.js then only we can create angular application without node.js also we can create the angular application so that's why like angular does not need node.js directly and it is not necessary to use the node.js mainly the use of the node.js for build and development tools and without node.js also we can create the angular application 
then why we need this node.js so basically like when we create an angular application so this angular is a framework so when we write any logic or any code when we do into the angular we write all the code into the type scripting language but all the browser understand the javascript so what we need like when we run our application on the browser so we need a something uh, like as a transpile that convert the uh, type script into the javascript so for that like we need a node.js so javascript like for that we use typescript transpiler which require node.js so that is the main agenda like uh, to make our application angular application very easy to build and run on the browser so that is the first advantage we use it and apart from this there are some another advantage which node.js give us so one is the npm node package manager so what is the npm is basically like the place where we have all the packages that is required for uh, making an application very easy and efficient way for an application so when we create an angular application we see like package.json file that is, is basically a npm package center where we keep all the pack necessary package uh, package is required for making an angular application so npm comes with node.js like when we install the node.js then this npm package manager comes with node.js by default and it allow us to manage our application as a dependency like when we use the dependency injection in our application so that dependency injection is made by this node.js so we don't have to worry for operation like adding a dependency removing something or update your package.json so that is the first advantage of the npm and the node.js and another is like npm give us a angular cli or ng cli means angular commands line interface which is a great tool for building your application very easily so that is the another advantage node.js give us and node.js allow us to spin up a lightweight web server to host your application locally in your system like when we give any command like uh, ng serve or when we create an, any component so all those uh, like commands is basically very it create angular application very easy to monitor and manage the um, like uh, the pages using this node.js because all those command is uh, like written basically by node.js and all those things is handled into the package.json so these are the some significant uh, advantage when we use this node.js into the angular application so that's it for this tutorial if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you